Prof. Sina, our Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research and Internationalization, uh, are part of a Facebook group for COVID-19 medical products and they posted the shields on Facebook and we as the library and university decided why don't we jump in and help where we can. They're made out of PLA plastic which is the 3D printing part and then normal transparencies that they used to use for classrooms. At the moment we are distributing uh, free of charge to Netcare and yeah there's no cost involved. The advantage is literally to help everybody that we can with this COVID-19. It's a worldwide pandemic that causes chaos everywhere and our medical staff are in real need of protection. It is easy to clean, you just clip it off, wash it, place it back on. Wear and tear will obviously have an impact after a while, but as far as I've seen, it doesn't wear and tear very quickly but it has to be used with your normal face mask together with the shield to give you the complete protection that you need. At the moment we can print uh, up to 10, between 10 and 15 per day. To produce one mask um, like that uh, will take up to two and a half to three hours. I believe in the medical field this can be used after COVID-19 as well. Um, it can, for instance, be used in surgical uh, rooms where it stops splatter when, when doctors are doing operations and stuff like that. So I believe, yeah, there is a market for it afterwards.